I primarily grew up on a farm. And then I transitioned going to college, doing some other things, and became a pilot in the Air Force, and then I became an astronaut, and I went to the moon. Kind of a big change in somebody's life, but I will tell you, that change made me realize that the Earth is getting smaller and smaller. I'm Colonel Al Worden, uh, United States Air Force and Command Module Pilot of Apollo 15, a voyage to the moon, uh, that went on July 26, 1971, and returned on August 7, 1971. The launch of an Apollo spacecraft was quite an event. We had a million people at the launch site during, during our launch. Uh, and so you think this is a momentous occasion. It's a fantastic thing. Uh, it's like getting ready for a big sports event or something. You know, football, you're all pumped up on Saturday morning before you go play football. Uh, we weren't. Uh, it was quite different. Uh, we knew all those people were out there. We, were new, we knew we were starting on a rather epic voyage, but we had been through it in simulation so many times that it was just kind of like another day. I was so glued to watching the instruments to make sure that we were on the right trajectory that I, had no, I couldn't think of anything else. Uh, it was all right there in front of me, and I focused on that, concentrated on it, went through it just like I did in simulation, and we launched. It was easy. When I did the, the extravehicular activity, uh, this side of the moon, we were about 50,000 miles this side of the moon. I had to go outside to recover some film canisters that it, it, we had used during the lunar orbital part of the flight. And then I went back out a third time, put my feet in some foot restraints, and just looked around. Uh, I was standing up outside the spacecraft, um, and I could look to my left and see the moon, and look to my right and see the Earth, and it was kind of an unbelievable sight. You know, you step back and you look at the Earth and you say, hmm, that's a pretty small object out there. It's uh, not much bigger from the moon than the moon is from here. When I was in orbit around the moon by myself, and, the, and Dave and, and Jim were down on the surface, uh, I never really gave much of a thought to, you know, what happens if I can't get back to Earth. That issue was resolved pretty much before we made the flight. I have to say that I became a believer in kind of a Far Eastern thought process which says there's something more important than you as a person. There are other things, there are bigger things more important than you. And we kind of made our minds up before the flight that whatever happens, uh, we're comfortable with it. We wanted to make the flight badly enough. Uh, and it was such a great scientific uh, expedition that we felt that uh, even if we didn't survive it, um, we, we had really done our best. What I like to see is us going to Mars in the next 20, 25 years. Uh, I think the reality is that it's going to be 50 years, maybe 60 years. As we get away from it and we look back, we begin to realize that the Earth is really finite. Uh, the day will come when the Earth can, we can no longer reside here, and in my mind that's what the space program ultimately is all about, giving us an escape valve for when we can't live here anymore so we can go somewhere else.